Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to explain how we can create functions in PHP. With a function, you write some code once, then reuse it whenever you need it. It's reusable code. If you ever need to call a written function, you type the function name, followed by a set of parentheses. For example, we could have an add function, we have a function name, then two parentheses. I like to think of the parentheses as two telephones talking to each other. In order to invoke a function, you call it, like with the telephone. Some examples of functions could be add, subtract, multiply, divide. You can create all sorts of functions to do various things. Here's how to create a function. We'll create a function to sing happy birthday. To create a function, type function. Then we're declaring a function name. What would you like to name this function? I will name it the happy birthday function. Add a set of parentheses, a set of curly braces. Any code you would like to reuse, you place within the set of curly braces. I'll create some happy birthday song. Here's my function. We write this code once, then reuse it whenever we need it. If I would like to execute the code within the function, I would type the function name. In this case, it's happy birthday. Then add a set of parentheses, like it's a pair of telephones talking to each other. That's how you call a function. And here's my birthday message. Um, I forgot some break lines, let me put those in real quick. That's much better. Happy birthday, dear you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear you. You are X years old. I know, it's kind of a lame song. I just made it up on the spot. I can call this function as many times as I need it. If I would like to sing happy birthday three times, I would just invoke this function three times. There, we have sung three verses of happy birthday. I'm going to add another break statement, though. There. So a function is just a section of reusable code. You write it once, reuse it whenever you need it. With coding, we try not to repeat code if we don't have to. With a function, you can send your function some data, some values, or a variable. I'm going to send my happy birthday function a string, a first name, let's say Spongebob. If you send your function some data, a value or a variable, this would be known as an argument. We need a matching parameter. A parameter is kind of like a temporary variable. Let's create a parameter named first name. This parameter only exists within the scope of this function. When you escape the function, this variable no longer exists. Let's replace u with a placeholder, then we will add our parameter, our variable, first name. Happy birthday, dear, first name. Let's do that here as well. Then let's try this again. Happy birthday, dear SpongeBob. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear SpongeBob. You are X years old. I could call this function again and pass in a different parameter like Patrick. We have a verse of happy birthday, but we have sent a different argument, Patrick, instead of Spongebob. Let's do it one more time. We will invoke happy birthday, then pass in a first name Squidward. Happy birthday, dear Squidward. You can pass in more than one argument to a function. Let's send an age. So separate each argument with a comma. I don't know how old Spongebob is according to the lore. Let's say that he's 30. Let's do that with Patrick as well. Let's say he's 35. Then Squidward, he seems older. Maybe he'll be 45. We have two arguments. When we invoke this function, we should have two parameters. For the second parameter, let's store these values in a variable named age. Then we can use this variable for something. Let's replace x with variable age. Happy birthday, dear SpongeBob, you are 30 years old, Patrick is 35 years old, and Squidward is 45 years old. That's how to invoke a function and pass arguments to it, but you would need a matching set of parameters. Now with a function, you can return something. You'll typically see a return statement at the end of a function. Let's go over a different example. We will create a function to check to see if a number is even or odd. Function. Let's name this function is even. We will need one parameter, a number. To invoke this function, you type the function name, 
then add a set of parentheses. If there's a parameter, you need to pass in a value or a variable. Let's see if the number 11 is even. Now within our function, we need to write some code. Let's say we have a variable result. Result equals, then to see if a number is even or odd, you take that number or that variable, modulus two. Modulus gives you the remainder of any division. If number divides by two evenly, the result should be zero. If it's odd, the result is one. Then we'll use a return statement and return some value. What would we like to return? Let's return the result. Now, if I echo, after executing this function, whatever is returned kind of takes its place. Then I'm just going to echo it. Is 11 even or is it odd? That returns 1. Is 10 even or odd? That returns 0. It's even. You could shorten this too. Let's get rid of our result variable. Take this section of code, and we are returning whatever the outcome is. That works too. Let's write something a little more complicated. Let's create a function to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So let's define our function. Function, let's name this function hypotenuse. We'll need sides A and B as arguments. So set up these matching parameters. To find side C, we need to follow this equation. Square root function variable a to the power of 2 plus variable b to the power of 2. Then we will return whatever variable c is. I'm going to invoke this function, but we need two arguments, side a and side b. Let's say side a is 3, side b is 4. Now this doesn't print anything. c should technically be 5. So after executing this function, after it's complete, just imagine that we're returning 5. So let's echo whatever the result is, or we could store it within a variable. So now the result is 5. Let's do two different numbers. Side A will be 4, side B will be 5. Side C is 6.4 and some change. One last thing I should mention, with your parameter names, you can declare a type that needs to be passed in. For example, if I was to send in like a string like find the hypotenuse of pizza and taco, well, that really doesn't make sense, right? Fatal error, uncaught type error, unsupported operand types string. You can list a data type before the variable name to force the arguments to be of that data type. I could say these need to be integers. I would type int or float for floating point numbers. If I try this again, we receive a different type of error, uncaught type error. Now I haven't discussed error handling yet, but this will come in handy when we get to that point. Just be aware that with parameters, you can list a data type beforehand. Then you would need to pass in an argument of that exact data type. All right, everybody, so that's a function. It's a section of reusable code. Whenever you would like to use this function, you type the function name, add a set of parentheses. If there are parameters set up, you would need to pass in a matching set of arguments. Then you can return something. And well, everybody, those are functions in PHP.